Two easy gypsy jazz licks you can learn in five minutes. Hey everybody, it's Robin Nolan, and in this video, you're gonna learn two easy and cool gypsy jazz licks you can use straight away in your soloing. If you would like the PDF workbook, which has all the tabs and musical notation to these licks and everything else in the Soloing Simplified Masterclass, then go to gypsyjazzclub.com and claim your 14 day free trial. The whole masterclass is inside and we'd love to welcome you to the community. Okay, let's start the clock. Let's get those licks down in five minutes. Okay, we've got five minutes. Start the clock. Here's lick one. Okay, this is a playable diminished lick that we're going to use over A7. Okay, so we're applying diminished harmony to the A dominant seventh chord, and the lick stems from the shape, the diminished shape, which works over A7. And just so you learn that process, if you play in an A7, there it is, on the fifth fret, the diminished chord we use starts on the second fret, okay? So it's not A diminished, but it's E diminished or A sharp or C sharp or G. That shape on the second fret. And the lick stems from that shape, from this diminished sound. Okay, so using the notes from that diminished, and we just make a lick out of it by going. Right, so we're approaching the with a semitone. So it starts on the A. That's the note you're aiming for. Okay, so so A, A sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, G. Right. So play it slowly first in time. hear the A, right, and you've got that A diminished lick. Now the, the beauty about diminished, as you probably know, just like the chord, you can slide up every three frets and slide back down, and it's the same notes, just in a different order. So we can do the same with the lick. just went up the three frets and did the same leg. So it gives you a lot of scope to make the, the leg really interesting. And ultimately when it's going A7, right, you can kind of get fancy by going up and down the neck every three frets. So that's lick number one. Um, and I'm going to show you lick number two now before we put both in context of dark eyes. Don't forget you can get the PDF tab and musical notation for these licks and the whole dark eyes soloing simplified masterclass at the Gypsy Jazz Club. Go to gypsyjazzclub.com. Lick number two. Let's go. We've got five minutes, two minutes left. So B flat major. This lick goes like this. Do, 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 do. It's a super cute lick, and in this instance, over dark eyes, we're using it on B flat major, and it's just there's your B flat major triad. We approach the B flat by a semitone, and then we go up the triad to the major seventh, which is the A, and then down chromatically to the sixth, right? So if it's going going to finish off the lick to make it even more cute we're going to bend to that note right okay so this lick right because we're playing it in the context of dark eyes it works over b flat but also any lick over B flat will also work in G minor, which is the relative minor, right? B flat and G minor. So 
G minor. So imagine the bass note. Imagine the bass note. Bom, bom. Right, so it works over both. Super cute lick. That's lick number two. And in a second, and that's that's within five minutes, right? So I think we're on four minutes, 40 at the moment. So lick one was... Right, diminished. So lick two is over the B flat. Which also works on the G minor. Okay, so we've learned the licks. That's within five minutes. Now I'm going to put the licks into context of dark eyes. So when we play through the sequence of dark eyes, right, which is A7, D minor, A7, B flat, G minor, D minor. Every time we play an A7, we're going to play that diminished lick. Okay, and you'll hear how it fits in to the chord sequence. Here we go. I'm playing with the backing track that is in the master class. Two. A one, two, three, four. Now it's D minor, right? D minor. Now we go back to A7, A7. again. B flat, right? Now we're bound to G minor. This is dark eyes. We're just kind of ingraining that diminished lick in. Here we go, A7. back to D minor. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. A7. Back to D minor. Back to A7 now. Let's start it here. Whoa, that was pretty wild. <laughs> B flat now. Right. Oh, sorry. G minor. Back to D minor. Here we go. One more time with the leg. back to D minor. Okay, so let's do the same for lick two. I love that bell. Um, and here's the cute multi-use lick. And what I'm, what I'm doing now is, is using the masterclass in the Gypsy Jazz Club, which has got like 20 something videos with all the licks and all the scales and all that stuff. But I'm playing along with it uh, to give you an idea. Here's the multi-use cute lick we're gonna use on B flat, right? So going through dark eyes, A7, D minor. Okay, A7. Here we go, here's the lick, the cute one. G minor. See, it's used over the B flat and G minor, right? Let's go through another round, A7, and then back to D minor. Okay, here we go. Let's use the diminished lick, A7. A7 lick again. Yeah. Here we go. Same lick over G minor. Right, back to D minor. And back to A7. Let's use the lick. Okay, so there's the two licks, right? Just to recap, we learn a lick you can use over A7. And the lick is stemmed from diminished, and we start the diminished shape on the second fret, right? The second fret, and that's what we play over A7. Even if you just play the chord, it's going to sound good over the A7. So any kind of lick has the same principle, and the lick we're using is stemmed from this arpeggio. Right, it would carry on. But the lick is... Don't forget, you can get the PDF chart workbook with all the licks written out in, in tab and musical notation in the masterclass. Over. And we could move that lick every three frets. And it still works over A7. And the lick isn't that. It's not like a big monster diminished lick. Some of these gypsy jazz licks can be scary. This one's just a cute one. You can kind of go. You can quickly get a little bit of dexterity and speed on that lick, okay? And try it over A7. 
The next lick we work, we learn <coughs> is the lick, the cute lick that goes over B flat major and G minor, right? So. to the bending to give it a bit of character. So if we put that into another context, for example, any lick in C major, right, will work over A minor. And any lick in A minor will work over C major, being the relative major and minor. So in C major, we go, right, and if you were playing over A minor, Still working right so there's two licks a diminished lick for the a7 and a cute lick for the b flat and g minor okay great i hope you enjoyed those licks and i'm sure they will give you a lot of confidence in your solos don't forget if you would like the pdf workbook with those licks written out in tab and musical notation plus all the other licks scales and arpeggios from the soloing simplified system masterclass then make sure you claim your free trial at the gypsyjazzclub.com. You can come in, get the masterclass, see what it's all about, join the community. We would sure love to see you there. For now, have a great day and stay inspired. <laughs>